Hi there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh, almost 4 a.m. here. I woke up in the middle of the night, yesterday was a very long day, tiring day. I sort of crashed, burned out, passed out, all that thing. So I woke up around I think 2 a.m. or something like that, took like a fresh shower, had some food, nice little tea, ice cream. Don't know why I did that but I'm in mood for doing an extra bonus video for you guys, okay. So as I told you yesterday, uh, like I could smell the winter is around the corner it's not cold yet or anything it's just the breeze that's flowing in mid-october or something this is when the weather transition will start like in five ten days and then slowly you'll start seeing cooler weather there's no such thing as autumn or fall here we straight go into well our winter version is like 15 degrees uh, 14 degrees in city outside city is like five degrees near the village so kind of foggy weather cold weather and I'm waiting, you know, I love uh, the cold weather. I did a silly thing. You can see I'm wearing like a winter clothing and I did uh, make the room very cold just to bring that winter chill vibe. Um, just wanna share 20 fragrances plus two honorable mentions. Check out a uh, full review on each of these perfumes. I've covered them before in my channel in the past. And these fragrances are something I can think of like I would like to wear exclusively in winter. These are very winter heavy and winter only, colder weather only. You know, if you have colder weather in fall, you can try them, okay? So basically, yeah, that's about it. So let's try uh, the video. First fragrance I wanna show you, these two I'm gonna show you at first are really good. They are not bad or anything. And all these fragrances I did not put in according any order, just for fun. I mix them up randomly, cheap, designer, niche, whatever, uh, uh, cheaper, expensive, uh, lower end, higher end, it doesn't matter, the fragrance qualities are, quality is what that matters. So this fragrance is a bit hard to find and uh, I think this continued item or something like rare item, okay, first fragrance I am actually very excited to wear is this perfume from Calvin Klein, Sike, and this is called Euphoria for Men Amber Gold. So they do make these darker takes and these Euphoria lines are not cheap. You might think like, hey, CK fragrance are cheap, you know, this fragrance I've had for $20, $30 no way <laughs> this fragrance you have to pay a lot of money to get and let's say euphoria amber gold some of the other ones they are very expensive but for good reasons what you get from this is kind of like a spicy amber it's sweet but it's basically very like a winter heavy kind of like a very beast mode fragrance one of the best CK perfumes ever definitely check out that bottle it's beautiful okay CK and this is called euphoria man amber gold first honorable mention second one i'm gonna show is this perfume i have two versions of it, the transparent bottle and this one I'm showing you today, sorry, uh, YSL M7 Oud Absolute. So this one some of you may know like uh, these are perfumes that's now discontinued from this line and this one came as a replacement of M7 but I don't think this smells like M7 or as good as that but uh, still on its own last winter I rocked a lot and this is kind of like a interesting note breakdown, mandarin, oud, patchouli, myrrh, you know, so you get kind of like a citrusy nice little opening orangey opening then it goes nicely to the spicy woody affair and YSL does things smooth so if you can hunt it down within hundred dollars budget that's gonna be a bit tough but it's a good fragrance but it's hard to find so that's why it's honorable mention YSL M7 Oud Absolute so let's hit the main list as I told you I'm gonna go random I'm gonna try to finish it within 12 minutes okay or a little bit more or less okay uh, first fragrance I'm gonna show you here is uh, I think it's a niche house but some people say it's designer or niche I don't know I'm not sure but usually I wear from replica line, Mason Martin Margiela, always uh, by the fireplace. That's one of my top 10, 10 out of 10 fragrance that I will always have. But today I'm showing you Jazz Club. This fragrance was not my most favorite at first when I tried it. I found it similar to a lot of fragrances like Bulgari Man in Black. It has a spicy, woody affair. And the thing is like, it's kind of like boozy. Um, but it, with time, you know, I start understanding what they're going for and it's, Kind of like a very good performer colder weather so if you want to enjoy music at a jazz club uh, having some booze next to you as smoking cigar you can try jazz club is very nice with beautiful juice color second one is an inexpensive one and this one i discovered recent times i got it i wanted for a very long time this is called animal animal for men look at the juice color all these fragrances more more or less going to have darker juice color and dark theme this one as I told in my review, it's similar to Pure Havan, Pure Mold, and Thierry Mugler Amen all combined. Uh, not as heavy as those, but this thing came before all those three fragrances. So this one came after Angel, okay, by Thierry Mugler. I think this one, <coughs> it's a true gem. Uh, I think in winter time, I'm gonna get beast mode. Now I'm getting like four to five, but I think four to five hours is gonna be a lot more. Like it will push up to seven, eight hours. 
at least six to seven hours in winter. Animal, animal for men, excellent fragrance. Third one I'm gonna show you, I think this is also a bit rare, but this one, Max Forty made me look at this one. This is uh, considered somewhat people say interlude man by uh, Moage, the Black Irises clone, but I think this is not that much, but it's a nice perfume on its own. This is Salvatore Ferragamo, and I think Salvatore Ferragamo Oud, the whole name I don't remember, but uh, Ferragamo Oud, I think that's the name, Intense Oud, something, I'll write down the name, don't worry. I love these bottles, they have few bottles in this line like this, twisty bottles, reminds me of a uh, few other fragrances like I think Lancome Hypnose, the twisty bottles are very nice, beautifully constructed, nice juice color, you get spicy, boozy, oud, and this is a budget perfume, I did not pay so much for it, you can definitely try it, I would love to rock this in winter, check out my review, this is why it's in the list. And I have many more, I can do this list at least 10 more times in different ways, uh, I will still have enough fragrances by grace of God. Number four, I'm going to show you this beauty, Rasasi's Daresh Puram. So, okay, so I understand Rasasi has the big names, Hawas, Shura, Daresh. These three are the big top sellers and Lai Yukuam, yeah, as well. But they have a lot of fragrances which are good, but Daresh is a budget perfume that really surprised me. I never smelled Valentino V in my life. I think perhaps in the past when I was like younger, when my elder brothers were rocking it, uncles were rocking it, but this juice right here, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's mysterious, very beast mode. I don't know the juice color, the batches. I never got any weak batches, even the new batches. So I don't know. I'm sorry if you had a bad batch or a weak batch, but Daraj is just a beautiful colder month fragrance. I just enjoy this so much. It smells like a Christmas cookie, gingerbread time, and very high class juice. Okay, Rasas Daraj, amazing winter perfume. Next one, it's discontinued, but hunt it down if you can. This is a gem. If you love cherry, and this is the perfume, Guerlain's uh, Black Perfecto, a La Petite Robe Noir line. And this is, uh, I think the concentration is funny, EDP Floral. Okay, I never hear those from any other house. But this one is dark, smoky. The I don't remember all the notes, but the cherry in this is very gothic. This is one of the gothic most perfumes. I love gothic theme in winter. This is a women's perfume, which I like on me. If you like fragrances like Lost Cherry and also fragrances like... Uh, um, the other one is what Wild Cherry by Mansara, which I also have, but that's a bit harsh. This fragrance is so beautifully crafted. It, I like smelling this. It's just the theme is so lovely, and I can just see how this is gonna work out in winter. Definitely hidden gem. Uh, people need to talk about this line. Okay, I love this line. Uh, La Petite Robe Noir. This is called Black Perfecto. Amazing perfume. Next one is a cheapie that I bought recent times, and it's cheap. Man, this fragrance is so. Uh, ridiculously cheap for its quality is unbelievable this is called Amiral Oud by Latafa okay and this is a heavy bottle check out my enthusiasm I gave it 10 out of 10 in every way possible sweet uh, playful smoky it comes in many different directions like amber this is a perfume for winter you know if you're looking to buy a gem this is a gem right here for a cheap price tag but the quality that's just not cheap at all okay Amiral Oud by Latafa uh, beautiful beautiful perfume okay Next one, I'm going to go, hopefully I'm not going to lose uh, electricity because every one to two hours, boom, suddenly light's gone. If it happens, then one hour, I'll not have uh, electricity. I'm sorry about that. You know, I keep saying it. It's happening in Bangladesh. Next one, I'm going to show you new buy. Like a couple of months back, I got Stronger With You Oud by Armani. This line is expensive, especially Stronger With You line. And this is like much more expensive than Stronger With You intensely. Absolutely. This one, leather. I think uh, there's one more, the wood one, you know, like the leather and one more was the other one. Is the new one? I don't remember, but these fragrances are expensive. Armani charge you a lot of money and you will not find it everywhere. But what I like about this is that slight play of wood, like a sweet playful wood on the top of that original sweetness. It's just whatever they're releasing, this one leather are masterpiece, okay? I just think this is perfect for colder setup, okay? Stronger with you, wood. Next one, it's a bit hard to find, but worth the money even if you pay 150 dollars it's i feel it's uh, justified this is isimiyake leudese noir amre the packaging check out my review it's niche packaging beautiful packaging hard packaging just love it the spicy amber in this is just long lasting and the quality of this fragrance is through the roof i love costume national soul and this equally so i'm showing you this one today amazing this is the best creation from isimiyake line in my humble opinion leudese noir amre Next one, the performance I wish could be better, but this juice, 
and I think the sprayer could be definitely better but I love this juice this is called Ted Lapidus uh, Altamir or Altamir I don't know how to go how does it go this perfume is like orange blossom play okay if you like uh, classic by Jean Paul Gaultier if you did like uh, uh, Gaultier square Gaultier 2 Gaultier square which is this one but I heard I heard rumors of they bringing it back it's announced in Fragrantica but I'm pretty pretty happy with this juice this is gonna be 30 something dollars 35 dollars in Bangladesh such a comforting perfume love the way it smells love the juice color it's classic Ted Lapidus is a classic house just the sprayer is horrible in this one I just decanted some of it there you go I use that decant bottle once in a while but this I'm gonna wear in winter Altamir this is a hidden gem next one is gonna be a big fragrance <laughs> it's gonna be amouage expensive one this is not the cap of this perfume sorry about that I have a tester but I want to show you the cap it's called sunshine man okay I actually bought a lot of amouage in my time I think I owned the big ones and I reviewed the big names using samples uh, discovery kit whatever I love this house through and through from Oman because they give you quality longevity beast projection beast you will may not understand the perfume maybe too complex for you but most of their fragrances have that push people around you can smell you that's what you want in winter this fragrance i like to wear particular daytime in winter when it's cold but the sun is a bit shy during daytime you enjoy the sunshine in the colder weather this is the perfume to wear immortal boozy notes floral is just a uh, one of a kind i never smell anything like it i just absolutely love this fragrance okay so definitely check it out this is called sunshine man so 10 are gone uh, it's 4 a.m uh, these are the times like every one hour we panic suddenly the power may go away <laughs> hope it doesn't happen and i really want to finish this video next 10 this one 1 million is called Privé. recent times many people understood the value of this and buying it just like me i had it back then i did not think so much of it i gave like okay score this is like not as uh, loud as 1 million or the other flankers I have two one millions today but this is the one i'm going to show you first uh one of the best tobacco based fragrance the hookah tobacco sweetness and it this one has the quality of perfume de marley uh fragrances okay like niche perfumes you know uh, and this feels so nice it's like a official grown-up most grown-up perfume in this lineup this is called one million preview check out my full review next one i enjoy a lot this perfume if you don't have it you know you're gonna miss out on something really incredible bottle wise juice color wise smell wise scent profile there's nothing like it in the market boozy vanilla with the burnt sugar note you guys know this is Givenchy spy this is my backup bottle i have about this much in my older bottle so always watch out for the pie sign this is a testimony by the way that's why all the writing usually it's gonna look like that okay so if you see the big pie sign it's high likely it's the newer batches the older batches have a small pie somewhere here or here uh, but this one also is fake so be careful when you buy it from Take a look at that bottle okay i'm showing you the bottle so it gives you that idea what this is gonna be like very long lasting sweet uh, and gives you like a waxy sort of sweetness you know i never smell anything like it vanilla is at, at best boozy vanilla is best okay givenchy spy it's a collector's item for sure next one since we're talking juice color this one also have that but the price range in this or for this is just so cheap I was so impressed with this fragrance when I got it. This one is no less quality than most of these fragrances, okay? And if you hear the name of the house, you'll be like, hmm, okay. And this is called Louis Cardin. This is called Sacred, okay? Yeah. It, it's making a statement already. I don't have to praise it. Look at that juice color. This one, Amiral Oud. Some of these other ones have this gorgeous juice color. This cream winter. I think I tried it in the summer and I do not use it now uh, unless it's a AC room or anything, but man, this perfume is a masterpiece man this fragrance for the price they what they offer i cannot believe you know uh, i don't remember all the notes but it's sweet man it's boozy it's sweet it's spicy it has uh, some of the winter vibes in it you know you wear leather jacket like uh, you know up to high collar like you know like this uh, sweaters and stuff wear this and then go for dinner people will compliment you okay i'm speaking a bit highly on this one even though this is cheap because it's not cheap thrill the price versus quality ratio amazing okay sacred by louis cardan next one is an old boy this is a classic and i feel this perfume um, should be tried at least once in your lifetime this is called theory Mugler angel man and i'm showing you my 2010 batch vintage metal plus version 
super rare this is a super expensive super rare i have the rubber version rubber bottle the rubber flask whatever that one i think is 2014 version this is even older so obviously this is not like 2010 first batch or anything like this 2004 release or 90s i don't remember this perfume you cannot pull it off in warmer weathers i tried so many days it's just way overwhelming but the magic of this fragrance is winter it opens up layer by layer by layer there are thousand notes in this perfume patchouli tar sweetness you know you get mint you get different things different times but the best thing about this fragrance is the sweetness the chocolatey vibe slowly it picks up i think there's wood in this as well somewhat but Thierry Mugler's masterpiece. If there was a thing called Nobel Prize for making perfume, this one is one of the big contenders, okay? Winter Baby is Thierry Mugler, Angel Man. You can get metal fast version of silver or gold. Try it out, okay? Next one, we're gonna go a new perfume, okay? I got, I think this is a recent release. I think this is from House of Luxodor, and this was sent to me as a gift, but I love this fragrance already. This is called Oud uh, Saffron, okay? Look at that bottle design. Now they are stepping up in their game magnetic cap this one reminds me of uh, oath for greatness this is a clone of that but obviously much cheaper and this fragrance is sweet amazing sprayer and the fragrance projects and lasts okay just check out my review if you want to get something good for winter on a good budget this is one of the best ones okay this is called oud saffron spicy saffron sweet oud uh, compliment garner sort of fragrance next three i'm going to show you some women's perfumes okay this is called Tom Ford Noir Femme. Uh, some of you be like, where is Noir Extreme? We are feeling violated. We are feeling mm, like, you know, not comfortable with it. But this one is just a better version of Noir Extreme. That's my humble opinion. I tried both. I have both. This fragrance is just more deep, you know, like Noir Extreme feels. It's a good fragrance. I love it. I love it. My bottle is a bit older one. Uh, I have this much juice left in it. I will use it in winter too, but out of the two this is more mature okay that's what i like about it uh, noir extreme you can wear it at night time summer also no problem but uh, noir femme is just a ultimate masterpiece from tom ford they should have made it in much of the higher class okay like private blend or something okay tom ford noir femme dark theme continues ysl's fragrance black opium for women um coffee sweetness tonka a lot of it like orange blossom or sweetness like it's a heavy thick sweetness with a lot of vanilla at the base uh, this is one of the best women's perfumes ever but i like wearing it because uh, when i wear this one of flower bomb it work seemed to work on me a little bit darker skin that i have i'm like a brown dude uh, but it's just chocolatey it's just sexy it's a like massive sillage longevity right and the bottle is beautiful okay definitely this winter i would rock this this is a winter beauty and this is called Wassel Opium, EDP. A lot of opiums are there, but the EDP is my favorite. Next three are all sweet affairs. These are a little bit uh, playful. So if you don't like, you can skip, no problem. Next one is Thierry Mugler, Angel Muse. I don't know if this is discontinued, but um, if you like Angel Share by By Killian, sorry, By Killian, or if you like fragrances like uh, Pakuraban Ultra Red Man, this is another one you're definitely gonna like. Amazing, sweet, chocolatey, uh, once again, I think there's a caramel or one of those like toffee, one of those notes. Man, sexiness. You know, like guys, if you have this, you will be like, your friends will ask like, man, what's that perfume? It smells familiar, like Thierry Mugler like, but it's not any of those that I have. This is something you can be your secret weapon for winter. Love it. Excellent longevity like other Muglers. Look at that bottle. This Thierry Mugler Angel uh, Muse. Next to Pakuraban Pakurabans. Uh, this is called Pakuraban Phantom. At some point, this is going to pop up, obviously. I tried using this one, like I have all of them. Uh, Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. They are sweet as heck, you know. Uh, little, little bit of green, playful, and this one got a lot of hatred because of the bottle, uh, you know, like gimmicky bottle and stuff, but I love it. I love this perfume. Um, not going to say love that much, but I think it will work. Like if you want to go for a party, meet your friends, something playful, you want long-lasting, Pakuraban, this one is definitely going to phantom going to create an impression. I'm waiting for the new one, the women's version. That's even looking awesome. But phantom is definitely something I'm going to wear in winter. Suggested for colder months. Last but not least, Pakuraban's other one million. The one I got recent times, Elixir. 
why am I showing you last? Uh, not to say this is the best of the lot or something like the number one, it stands out or something. No, this one reminds me of fragrance like Stronger With You, uh, that line and some of the other sweet ones, playful ones. It's not entirely new. That's what I'm trying to say. But whatever they used in it, they went for crowd pleasing, you know, like one millions uh, sweetheart kind of a fragrance, this one. And definitely one of the best flankers, hands down with excellent performance, excellent smell. It's good for dating, you know, like if you're going to be with your sweetheart for dinner and stuff, even Valentine's Day in February, this is going to work, okay? Nutty, sweet, vanilla. Uh, I think there's a little bit of citrus up top, okay? It's a sweet fragrance, but not as wild as original 1 million. Definitely check it out, 1 million elixir. So those are 20 fragrances. I know it's not winter yet, but perhaps in winter, you can rock this. And these are winter only, like specially solid perfumes okay i write down the names check out my full review on it thank you so much for watching for this long take care and have a nice day bye bye